to help you with the modeling of your wooden panels it is possible that you can bring in your sketch work of your wooden panel this could be done from a photograph that you've taken of your work could be done from your procreate image a scanned image or you could create a new one photograph it and place it into one shape in order to do this we go to the sketch menu I'm going to choose the front plane that fills it in correctly I'm going to look at it in 2D I'm just going to make it a little bigger on my screen ready so I'm going to add an image here to do that I go up to this menu here so it currently says DXF I'm going to change that to insert an image what I now need to do we'll pretend that there's nothing here at the moment is go down to the bottom left where it says import I'm going to select import and this links me in my case to my desktop so I'm going to scroll down and grab an image that I put in earlier which happens to be Stella's wooden panel design just as an example nothing really changes apart from this box here opens up which tells me that it's now uploaded okay and the upload is complete so I can just hide that close it and here now on the left hand side this is the one that I've just uploaded so I'm going to pick it and it changes on my screen to a little cross my cursor what I now need to do is it tells me at the top of my screen draw image rectangle so I hold my left mouse button down and draw and as you, as you can see proportionally it's drawing that whole A4 sheet in. So I'm roughly going to make it about the right size. I can then hold my left mouse button down and I can move my image. I could zoom out. Okay, so you can see that I can then move it. Now the problem is once you've stretched it, you then it struggle to rechange that size. What you can do is move it around. So we need to dimension this. Now this might take a little bit of playing with your dimensions, but if I grabbed, for example, this line here and measure it, it says 262. I'm going to change that to 280 to see what happens. And whilst this image might not be, I'm going to press escape by the way, exactly correct, the right size, if I hold the left mouse button down, that is pretty good and one that I could use to accurately draw my design work. So I'm going to accept that. And in 3D, to show you what has happened in that image there, there is my image as a reference. That is in my list here, my tree, my model tree, Sketch 14, which I can turn off if I want to or turn back on. Okay, and uh, it will also allow me if I want to uh, to suppress that which properly hides it but at the moment we're okay just as it is now like this okay we could name it if you wanted to so I could rename that and say uh, image just so it's a little bit easier to find then I click on sketch I click again on the front plane front plane now I click on the front and of course, because I have my image there as a reference, I could use my straight line tool in this case. And let's draw Stella's design. Okay, so let me just press escape. Let me just move, as you can see. So now I could start to piece together accurately the design. Okay, so let me just do something like that. Now, I've got to make sure that I don't make it too thin here. So perhaps I just want to adapt the design ever so slightly. Okay, to make sure that my wooden pieces will, what we call, survive, i.e. not break. So I'm trying to keep that as a parallel line, like so. Let's press escape. Okay, I'll just do two quick lines just to demonstrate Okay, so maybe we'll do this one and something like that. Let me press escape and let's accept that. 
Okay, and then if I just spin my work round into 3D and click on extrude, okay, what I should be able to do is adding the material would be able to add the sketch that I have uh, just created here, sketch 14. However, what I haven't done, because this is a new sketch, is join the ends of the sketches together because it is a new sketch. So what I need to do is I need to go back and I need to edit that sketch. Okay, And simply what I need to do is be able to tell on shape what I want to actually do. So I'm going to join those two together. I'm going to go around here and the reason for this is because these lines cross over Okay, my frame. So it, on shape itself, doesn't know what wants to be extruded and what doesn't. So now, when I go back to my extrusion, what I can now do is pick that as a design. So if you are unable to pick yours or select it, it will be because you have uh, not an enclosed shape or a contour. Now I do. And you can see I'm adding my material like so. Okay, and then if I go back and get my image and click on the eye to hide it, you can see that's what I'm sketching in terms of my design. You'll actually see that because of that, I've actually extruded it the wrong way. So right click, choose edit because we can quite easily edit. I'm going to pick this one here, opposite direction. There we go. Okay, like so, if that's still wrong, right click, edit. So you can see that you can do this multiple times should you need to edit or change your work. And as you can see now, there is part of Stella's work, like her design work. And if I just switch the image back on, you can see.